Welcome to another Revolution Pi tutorial. I'm Dirk and today it's about coaches. And we will look at what you need to switch an LED with the Revolution Pi Connect 4. Let's jump right in. So we are going to this website revolutionpi.com and to support and downloads and then on drivers. And we are downloading the Revolution Pi library for CodeSys. Currently it's a beta version, but we are using it anyway. So then we can extract this archive. So, and can have a look at the contents. Here are some examples and here we have our Revolution Pi Bridge and the release notes. So it's support for CodeSys ARM 64-bit with Revolution Pi Connect 4 with Pep Bullseye 64-bit image. That's great news. So the 64-bit image is now supported. It's important to mention that the CodeSys control for Raspberry Pi is not supported anymore. Anyhow, to make a proof of concept, you don't need to buy a license. The runtime is running more or less one hour and then it's just stop and you can, can restart it again. So we have to just download CodeSys and then we can install this Revolution Pi Bridge Beta. So I'm on the CodeSys store here and I'm downloading this 64-bit version. I have to accept the license agreements. And then CodeSys is downloaded. So after the download is completed, we can just initialize the installation via double click. We have to put in our administration credentials and then the installation is starting. So we click on next, accept the terms in the license agreement and install CodeSys. This may take a few minutes. So in order to run the example, we have to use this CodeSys control for Linux ARM. Um, I'm downloading it for 64 bit. And I'm accepting the license agreements. And here we go. We have to put in our super user credentials. And again, we are selecting the installation for our device. We have to accept uh, the license. Okay. So now we can install our Revolution Pi Bridge on our installation. So we select this um, installation of CodeSys. And here we have to accept the license agreements and have to accept the missing signatures. So now we can open the examples folder and open this blinking light project. So, and if you 
uh, run it the first time, you are asked to update this versions. We can set all of one newest and hit OK. OK. We want to modify this to CodeSys Control for Linux ARM64. And we change this to the RefPy Connect 4. Great. Okay, now we want to go online. Okay, we're going to Tools and this. So we have to put in our credentials. And I know it's one point. So we are searching for Git. Okay. And install it. Okay. Good. So after all those linking messages, we are able to compile and to go online the first time. So there's no active path defined. Yes, we want to define it. Okay, we have to scan here and we have our device and we want to um, create a new user you have to apply a password for yourself that's nothing related to any credential that it's uh, written on the device already here you are free. Um, I will use uh, the name admin and I have to type in this again. So now we are connected and now we can go online. So here it's not existing yet. Should it be uh, loaded? Yes. Okay, we are connected, application is stopped. Now let's see, this LED should now blink. We are starting our application. And here it's not blinking because the example has been provided together with A revolution pi dio module that we want to delete now so we instead use the refpy led so i'm using the bit zero therefore it's the red a1 led and we will call it refpy led a1 fine and this is what I want to use here. Ah, here. Hmm. And here we have the ref priority. And we're compiling it again. And now it should work. So we logging in, say yes, we want to download the code. Application is stopped. And now the A1 LED should start 
clicking if I'm saying we going to start start and you can see the A1 LED is blinking fine so what did we learn today we learned today how easy it is to put code source into operation with the Revolution Pi Connect 4 what are the benefits of the new 64 image compatibility and what what downloads you need thank you for watching bye